Hello everyone, I'm Paul Dunningletter, the editor of CDN Computer Dealer News. With me here today is Peter Denise, the president of Bell Micro Products uh, Canada. How are you, Peter? Doing very well, thank you. Peter, tell me, um, you know, you're uh, focused on uh, storage uh, in your distribution business, mm -hmm. uh, but there are a lot of broadline distributors who offer storage as well, and a lot more. How do you compete with them? Well, that's a very good question, because I think it really, really speaks to what differentiates Bell Micro Products. Um, both storage isn't the only thing we sell. It is generally the product technology that allows us to set our hooks within our customers. So you're right, there are many other broadline distributors who sell many of the products. And I tend to think that as the bigger and broader distributors get more diversified, um, there there's an opportunity that creates, uh, that, that becomes created for specialized distributors. So it's almost like a polarization. And really it comes down to the experience of the customer. And if that experience is better in terms of having a better buying experience with pre-sale support, with knowledgeable salespeople, with uh, direct marketing initiatives that lend themselves directly to the focus of our business, then we clearly have an opportunity of differentiating ourselves. Really, really the smell test is whether or not the vendors and the customers recognize your value and reward you for that value. And I think that our business has demonstrated and proved that, uh, that there clearly is an opportunity to add value and differentiate yourself in the store you know. Recently, you have been trying to push the solid state drive uh, marketplace in Canada. Why is it so important to build micro products in Canada? Uh, winning the solid state war is imperative. It's incredible. It's incredibly important to us um, in every geography that we do business in. We've already established ourselves as the leader of hard drives. Um, we outsell our closest competitor by, I think, some two and a half to one in almost every geography that we do business. And as SSD technology becomes potentially a disruptive technology and perhaps a competitive technology to rotating disk, it's important that we retain our position of leadership in storage. Now, our customers come to expect us to lead the way and to help them make decisions, uh, informed decisions, on what type of storage they implement and which ones they avoid. So obviously, from a, from a pure top-line revenue point of view, we need to win the SSD battle because clearly SSDs will take some of the pie away from hard disk. But more importantly, our customers will expect us to help them navigate the SSD decisions that they make going forward. So uh, what's in it for the channel with the SSD channel? How, what's the market opportunity? How are they going to make money with, with these products? Well, that's a good question, because every, that's really, really what it comes down to, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think, from our point of view, we see a couple opportunities. We clearly agree with uh, the presentations that we've been uh, touting during the seminar series in terms of the new opportunity being in the enterprise space, where Solid State has clearly, clearly differentiated itself as a alternative technology to that of rotating desk. So, enterprise bars, um, vertical bars who operate in very, very data intensive, IO intensive applications will have an opportunity of bringing to their customers better, faster, um, and more suitable solutions to meet their customer needs. In the OEM space, in non traditional computing applications, which is also a very, very strong part of our business, um, clearly SSD will play a role there, uh, whether it's because of power, whether it's because of uh, ruggedness. Um, and again, it'll be an alternate technology to um, rotating hard drives. Mm -hmm. So whether it's a bar play or whether it's an OEM play, we feel very, very confident uh, that it will be a rich opportunity for us. If the market is going to grow to some $1.1, $1.2 billion by the year 2013, even if Bell Micro captures an equivalent portion of our hard drive, TAM, it will represent probably $120 million by the year 2013. That's a rich opportunity. Yeah, it definitely looks that way. Well, there you have it, folks, with uh, Peter Denise, the president of Bell Micro Products Canada. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Paul Donagletto for CDN Computer Dealer News.